couple of slips. And then three offside, saving the single, two onside with third man and final leg. Got 100 in the first round, that was against Ireland. That's helped boost that tournament career average. It is 107. He's one of those players that he was capped, I think, what, a couple, two or three years ago, 1992, by Yorkshire. One of those players who struggled to really keep a place in the first team. Orthodox-looking player, um, very correct in his defence, but really comes in when Martin Moxon, sadly, all too often is injured. Persuaded away. Rowney there. Just do the one. Well, the first bit of width, he's given it and uh, he's paid the penalty. Second boundary of the innings and that one, the first authentic one. Yes, this is the first real hit on the up. And it was the wits that gave Simon Kelly the chance to do it. That'll give him just that little bit of impetus, that little bit of confidence. That's a classic. Just up far enough and just wide enough for the batsman to be able to get it away through extra cover. Nice stroke from Keller. It's a very lovely orthodox cover drive. This foot to the pitch of the ball, very straight back, high elbow. It's perfectly played. That had the width and uh, also has the man out there, deep point. Two runs off the over, goodish over from Irani. Long half volley, it was a good drive but it's well done by Irani to put a hand to that and half stop it. He's the fifth man used with the ball this morning by Essex with just uh, Graham Gooch up the sleeve of Paul Pritchard in case they need a bit of a safety valve. The economy rate, 4.21, that's uh, more relevant than the number of wickets taken. And that'll be more than one, that may well be four. It's, uh, Well, it's good for the feeling out there. Cousins again. Oh, no, no, no. Or fine shot. Yeah. Worth two. Yes, that's a better area for uh, Simon Kelly to hit it. Mid on, didn't time it perfectly. He still didn't quite get enough left hand into the shot.
Well, that's 50 for Kellett. It's been a patient one. Now he's got to go on and build on it. That's right, Jack. I think um, and hope that somebody in the Yorkshire dressing room is going to have a word with Simon Kellett and say, well, look, you've made a nice patient 50. He's taken 117 balls. OK, but the important thing now is if you're going to take a while to make 50, make quite a few balls, quite a, take a lot of the bowling, then you haven't got to give your wicket away. You must go on after lunch, play well, try and play for 100. Running to Simon Kellett. Uh, Kellett is in uh, the white protective helmet. 53 from 120 balls, got away to a slow start, but uh, has played very well, a very correct player. He's hit three fours, no sixes as yet, and his bat... And that's the first one uh, he's been given for a while. A bit of space outside the off stump. Not going to please his captain very much that Mark War should uh, produce that out of the blue. Yes, I don't think it's in Mark War's uh, makeup to bowl tight. He's an expensive bowler. And lovely shot, just using the pace of the ball, not trying to hit it too hard. You have to try and balance out with Mark War if he's going to get you a wicket or two. That's a beautiful stroke. Going to be too good for Jonathan Lewis. Whereas the previous ball was played um, very well by Kellett down behind point for four. It wasn't a particularly good delivery. There was nothing too much wrong with that one. And uh, he struck it magnificently through mid-wicket. Uh, against playing a few shots either. Quite a good fielder. Plays a few shots. Um, yeah, he's the right type of player at this stage of the game. So expensive is Mark War. He's getting picked up again, drifting down the leg side. Those bowlers, it's in his makeup to try things. It's okay, as I mentioned in the test match, when you're looking for wickets, but sometimes in one day cricket you keep experimenting and it just gives the batsman free hits. That is a beautiful strike. me as though uh, he's probably a bit stronger against pace than spin but uh, also has the makings of being a pretty good player very orthodox player uh, Simon Kellett hits through the line of the ball pretty good one thing he has to learn is how to work the ball we've seen when he's trying to work the ball or angle it he's struggled a bit when he plays straight Cover driving, on driving, hitting straight over the top. He's an excellent striker of the ball. Spread. Four. I think this is one of the keys for Essex. Mark Eilert's been uh, their best bowler. Drifting down leg side with his loose net. Flipped away, away by Simon Kellett. If he can get a tight hold, line and length on these batsmen, maybe sneak a wicket, get a new batsman at the crease, might just stop Yorkshire from galloping ahead. But if he doesn't, you rather feel that the runs are going to come quite quickly. Oh, lucky as you can get. Don't think. Mark Eilert used the word lucky there. It will be unprintable, Jack. No, it was... Uh, I mean, it's a real big Chinese cut with this. He was sort of stood up, it kept a touch low on him, inside edged it, and away it goes. I kept saying all day that uh, it's going to be hard for bowlers. Any bowler that gets a wicket or two on this pitch is done pretty well. If you can get them at a reasonably economic rate, done even better for his team. Got him. First time really that Kellett has gone for the hoik and uh, 
Well, it was the sort of shot that it was either six or it wasn't, and it wasn't, and he's walking. Well, it's a funny game, isn't it? Simon Kellett, they're playing pretty well for Yorkshire, some good drives. And he gets a Chinese cut for four, where he's lucky off the inside edge, and then he goes and smacks the ball right in the middle of the bat, thinks he's got a nice, easy boundary, and holds out straight to the man. So one minute you're lucky, next minute you're unlucky. Funny old game. And for the bowler, vice versa. He's bowled a peach of a ball before, and uh, it's cost him four, and there he's a bit off line, bit off length, and he's got a wicket. 